So uh, um, today I'm presenting uh, our work under the title Latent Variable Gaussian Process for Large Combinatorial Design Spaces, specifically focusing on metal organic framework designs. Uh, this is a work that uh, we conducted with uh, Professor Randy Snurr's group at, here at Northwestern University. So it's a collaborative work. So material systems, they can be, uh, if we consider a simple material system, they can be represented by a choice of, uh, for example, linkers or metal ions elements that you uh, that, that 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 it constructs the material system with. However, the data-driven materials design often encounters challenges when these uh, choices of linkers or metal ions are categorical variables or uh, qualitative variables, as we know. And another challenge is that when you combine these different material systems together, you can end up with a large combinatorial design space. So the research question that we wanted to answer was that, how can we efficiently identify novel candidates from a large combinatorial design space that we have? Uh, specifically for this problem of interest, we focused on designing metal organic frameworks. Uh, metal organic frameworks, also known as MOFs, they are a class of porous crystalline material that are mostly used in uh, gas absorption, gas separation, and other properties. Uh, so if you look at the e MOF, uh, MOF material system that you see here, by combining different org inorganic nodes, organic nodes, and edges and topologies, uh, we can construct a MOF system. However, the problem arises when we have a different number of design options for each of these building blocks that make them off. Uh, and then for the application of interest, uh, we have a total design space of more than 48,000 material candidates. And uh, again, for this application, we're interested in uh, identifying the top performing MOF candidates that are good for gas absorption properties, the ones, the specifically the twos that you see here. So to do this, uh, we implemented this interpretable design framework where we start with some design of experiments. Uh, then we evaluate the performance of our materials for uh, using grand canonical, grand canonical Monte Carlo simulations. Then we train a machine learning model, which is named under, which is called latent variable Gaussian process model. Uh, and I want to briefly touch upon it uh, because it's a very vital part of our framework. So the latent variable Gaussian process, also known as LVGP, enables us to incorporate the qualitative design variables that you saw before into design uh, by converting them into quantitative or numerical variables. So as you can see here, we know that for every quantitative variable, they should have some underlying numerical meaning high and possibly high dimensional meaning. But using by using a proper dimension reduction techniques, we can reduce this high dimension numerical space into 2D dimensional latent, space, latent spaces and obtain the latent variables. Then we can fit a regular Gaussian process model that, we, uh, that we're mostly familiar with, which is very useful for uh, Bayesian optimization, uh, app, Bayesian optimization. Then, uh, then there comes the Bayesian optimization. We uh, do multi-objective batch Bayesian optimization as we have two properties of interest and this suggests new MOFs uh, for us to simulate. So this, this is an iteration and it goes on uh, until we're satisfied with our solutions. And once we have them, we can analyze them further. So I wanna quickly show some results that we obtained. Uh, so for the purpose of this uh, research, we actually went ahead and calculated the properties for all the 48,000 candidates that we have. And we saw that uh, the, we have we are interested in identifying the Prada front designs, which are shown in red dots here. And also we want to identify the top performing candidates. And what do we mean by top performing is that consider a, a hypothetical MOF that is, that is shown in here in, in black. Uh, so this MOF has the best property for CO2 working capacity and best property for CO2 selectivity. So we wanted to identify the MOFs that has uh, that has the properties that is closest to this utopian MOF in the Euclidean space, which are around the this area that I'm uh, circling. So once we implemented our framework, we saw that by only searching for 1%, approximately 1% of the design space, we identified all of our pre different points and also identified more than 96% of the 50 top performing candidates that is closest to this uh, utopian moth. Uh, and then finally, in terms of design interpretability, uh, as I mentioned before, the latent variable approach, approach enables us to do physics-based uh, physics dimensional reduction. And we saw that the latent variables at 
we get for our design variable at the end uh, have some physical meaning. So for the inorganic node, we saw that the choice of element plays an important role, as we saw that the zinc element is further apart from the other three elements in the latent space. And we were able to went back, did some literature search to uh, obtain how, how can we explain this phenomenon. And we saw that this can be explained by the Leonard Jones parameter because you can see the zinc has a very high Leonard Jones parameter and it can be a trope attributed to, to uh, having large um, Van der Waals forces, so be, uh, better uh, gas absorption. And similarly, uh, we saw that the uh, for the organic node, the ones that has similar geometry are closer in the latent space and the ones uh, which are the shown that the four here and then the, the other three also have similar geometry, so they're like smaller in the latent space as well. So geometry plays an important role in the in the in the in the in gas absorption properties. So finally, uh, we compared our uh, framework with a random forest algorithm, which is also able to incorporate discrete values or quality variables into uh, machine learning. Uh, we saw that our approach, which is shown in red, is much better in terms of identifying the pretty different designs, and it's more robust as as we see with, with the low confidence interval. Uh, for the interest of time, I'll skip the um, conclusions. Uh, and here's the poster. I would like to thank again, everyone uh, for uh, for the opportunity. And uh, our paper right now, we submitted to uh, for it's it's on review, but it's also on available on archive if you're interested in reading it. Thank you.